Thank you. My name is Mark Alford from Missouri. I want to thank uh, Anna for leading this charge for justice and transparency uh, in our body and in our government and in our nation. Uh, recently, the Department of Justice under Attorney General Merrick Garland has displayed a blatant disregard for this body. By refusing to comply with two lawful subpoenas, Attorney General Garland has violated our authority and undermined the integrity of this institution. Earlier this month, we voted to hold Attorney General Garland in con criminal contempt of Congress. However, the Department of Justice informed Speaker Mike Johnson that they would not prosecute the AG for this contempt. This response, while expected, sets a dangerous precedent. If the executive branch can simply ignore Congress without any consequences, it threatens the very function and foundation of our democratic process. When an individual refuses to comply with Congress's request, we are left with three options, criminal, civil, or inherent contempt. Now, both criminal and civil contempt rely on the executive branch for enforcement, which clearly is not going to happen in this case. The Founding Fathers designed our government to protect our freedoms, to stand against tyranny, and to combat an all-powerful executive branch. Inherent contempt is our constitutional authority to hold individuals accountable directly. This power allows Congress to detain and try individuals who defy, to defy our subpoenas. It is a crucial tool that ensures we can fulfill our legislative responsibilities independently. In the House Rules and Manual, the 118th Congress, Jefferson's Manual, you can find inherent contempt mentioned in pages 141 through 147. Inherent contempt has been used by the U.S. House of Representatives more than 100 times since 1795 and upheld by the Supreme Court of the United States of America. If we allow the Department of Justice and Attorney General Garland to dictate whether or not a congressional subpoena is enforced, we risk becoming subordinate to the executive branch, and that cannot happen. This is unacceptable. Congress must never rely on the actions of the other branches to carry out our constitutional responsibilities under Article I. What does Attorney General Merrick Garland have to hide? No one is above the law. Americans deserve transparency and accountability.